Hey folks, welcome back to a new video. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. This is Henry SVTV coming at you with more gaming content. And today we have a great topic to talk about. I am sure many of you have heard of the day before, the new zombie open world MMO survival game, which has raised more questions than answers. This colorful and rich world in the day before is what's left of a deathly post-pandemic America, which has now been overrun by zombies and survivors killing each other for food weapons and cars. The day before might have just a lot more to offer than what we thought originally. Since this game was officially announced, it has raised a number of questions whether if this game is real or not. Now, we will be talking about the new gameplay footage that was just released featuring the off-road driving through one of the wooden areas in the game, along with the other gameplay trailers that have been released. So make sure to stay for the complete video since this is definitely getting a lot more interesting. Now, the day before is what many of us call a perfect combination between a post-apocalyptic game with zombies and the immersive PvP experience that calls many of us into action. But not only that, this is also supposed to be a PvE experience with different settlements where you can interact with other players and be able to buy or sell the remaining resources in this world. But this game looks too good to be true. The three trailers that have been released are introduced as real gameplay footage. However, many of us think that there is something off about them. They seem at times too scripted as if they were pre-rendered, pretty much too good to be true. And the fact that we haven't seen any live gameplay footage, well, that raises more questions. And I apologize with the developers of this game if this is in fact actual gameplay, but man, if that was the case, then this game could end up being a huge release. The developers of the game are fantastic, and they are really taking a step closer into a AAA game development. They have worked on two previous games, which are Radiant 1 and The Wild 8, but they were definitely different types of projects in comparison to this new one. Now, in a recent tweet, developers for the game have stated that if their off-road video gets to 10,000 likes in their Instagram and Twitter, then they will be releasing a full-length video, possibly being played in real time. And this opens so many possibilities, so if you're interested in that, well, we can all contribute to the cause. Now, I have to admit that the more footage I see, I think this could potentially be a real great project with many different locations to explore, including a variety of weather conditions conditions as seen in the different gameplay trailers, we can even see some great snowy mountains. Now there will be vehicles already in the game to be used, buildings to explore, whether if they're small buildings or these massive skyscrapers that we have seen already, where we see the player initially getting into the elevator to meet up with his friend on the top of this building. A variety of weapons as well are to be included in the game. We have already seen handguns, shotguns, rifles, and even some hand grenades. So the concept of the game I have to admit is, is just a perfect combination. It includes all of the elements for a survival game, it includes a PvP experience and a PvE experience as well, although you have to be mindful and very careful that not all of the players could potentially be interested in just a PvE experience. Additionally, the day before is supposed to include a crafting system, adding a lot more value to the game, where you can create your own healing supplies and other items, and possibly this could also include a great great system to enhance your abilities, such as skill tree or different types of abilities that can be enhanced by experience points. Now the idea of exploring this universe is just mind blowing. There are still a lot of questions and things to see from these developers in this game that is definitely gaining some more interest from the community. Hopefully this ends up being a massive release that we can all enjoy playing, but I consider there's still a lot to go with this one. Now if this is your first time hearing about this game, then I would like to include maybe just a short description of what it is or the original concept of it. Well, basically the day before is an MMO survival, which is set in a post-pandemic America, which has now been overrun by flesh-hungry infected and survivors killing each other for food, weapons, and cars. Now in this game, you will wake up alone in a world which you no longer remember, setting out to find answers and the resources to survive, in which you will have to definitely survive at all costs. You will basically be searching for abandoned cars, houses, skyscrapers as you scavenge for resources. You will have to enter places where you will definitely see some threats not only from other players but also from the infected ones. As well you'll find colonies of survivors which you will be able to take part in the restoration of the former society before it's too late. In the survivor colony you can sell your loot and communicate safely with other players but I will make sure to keep you guys up to date with any other relevant information but for now this is the video that I have prepared for you. Now before before 
you go i want to kindly ask you to please give this one a thumbs up and if you enjoy this content consider subscribing and activating all notifications on so that you don't miss any of my future videos and i will see you on my next one goodbye